Hi guys, coming to you from my kitchen today. Um, I'm really bad about seeing if this is recording, setting up, I'm sorry. Um, I try to pick a somewhat clean corner of my kitchen right now. Anyway, so I had an idea to do kind of a little mini series, if you will, of my favorite things and just kind of some of the products that we, I guess, almost always have in the house. Um, I noticed the other day we were running low on something and I said to my husband, you know, I don't realize how much we rely on certain products until we're out or I didn't get them at the store. And then, you know, one of them, I think in this instance, it was fat-free shredded cheese. Um, but anyway, so for today's video, I want to let you guys know what some of my favorite things are as far as condiments. Um, of course, there are several other little onesie twosies, but these are like our legit mainstay products that we keep in our cabinets and the fridge. Um, so let's get started. So as far as butter goes, uh, we normally have, is it focusing? Come on camera. There we go. We have two products normally in our house. It's the spray butter or this Lando Lakes light butter with canola oil. Honestly, we never use an entire serving. Um, it says one serving is 14 grams, uh, which is one tablespoon, and that's five fats. Uh, we normally do um, a third of a tablespoon, which is a teaspoon, or a half of a tablespoon, so seven grams. And then the spray butter, it says it's calorie free, zero calories per spray. But pay attention how many sprays you use because after I think the fifth spray, you start accumulating those calories. So we use those for butter products. And while this isn't low fat, um, we use this product on a lot of our food, especially kind of like our Asian style foods. We also put it on our flatbread pizzas. It's sriracha mayo and normally again, on this, a serving size is 15 grams, but we do anywhere from about seven and a half grams to five grams, and you can still get really good flavor with that. Along the lines of Asian cuisine, this is another favorite of mine. Please focus. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. So, if it was a little blurry, it's Thai Kitchen's red curry paste. Again, tablespoon is 15 grams here, and with that, it's three carbs, one protein, zero fats. I normally actually use about a half a tablespoon in our dishes, and it just gives you a nice kick of flavor. Um, again, red curry paste, really good. My teammate Alba, shout out to you, girl, um, if you watch this. Uh, she got me buying fat-free whipped cream again, or ready whip, whip topping, whatever you want to call it. And again, we usually stick to about the serving size, which for five grams is one carb. So it's fun to put on our desserts in the evening. Uh, we normally have like the waffle and ice cream or a protein cake and ice cream. And then we top it with some fat-free ready whip. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have a big salad like every day. And so Bolt House yogurt dressings are our go-to. Uh, we also have a ranch in the fridge. Anyway, these yogurt dressings are a lot more calorie friendly than regular like full fat dressings. If you get like a Hidden Valley Ranch, um, this the label says 70% less fat and 64% fewer calories than like the main brands. This cilantro avocado, 30 grams, is only three and a half fats, one carb, one protein. And again, we actually normally don't use the full serving size. We find that about half of that serving, so about 15 grams, is enough on our salads. We're not dousing them in dressing. For our desserts, or sometimes I will add this, if it can focus, I'll add this to our oatmeal or cream of wheat. Um, it's the Walden Farms maple walnut syrup. We also have the regular pancake syrup. And usually a tablespoon is enough for me. Um, 
So this is a calorie-free, I know a lot of people say it's chemicals, it's bad for you, um, I don't know, it craves our, or it takes care of our sweet tooth, so we use it. These little amazing gems, um, I finally found in a grocery store the other day, and we went through one bottle already of the maple, and these are the honey and hickory. It's a sugar-free barbecue sauce by G. Hughes, and they are amazing. So normal sugar-laden barbecue sauces per serving can have upwards of like 16 grams of carbs. It's a lot of sugar. These sugar-free barbecue sauces are only two carbs per serving. Two tablespoons is a serving, 30 grams. Again, we normally don't use the full serving unless we're making like pulled pork type sandwiches, um, but two carbs versus like 16 carbs, and this stuff tastes great, so I highly suggest it. Um, I'm glad we found these. These will definitely be a mainstay. So, as far as condiments go, these are our go-tos as far as like butter, and dressings and barbecue sauces. We also use reduced sugar ketchup. And what are some other ones? I think that's about it. Like I said, I'm kind of like habitual with my with what I eat, um, and I swap things out here and there. Or if I find a new product, I'll try it out. Um, we do use some extra virgin olive oil, but again, that's like full fat. Uh, we won't use a full serving of that, maybe a half a tablespoon. Once in a while, I'll use coconut oil on my waffles. Um, and I believe, I mean, the rest of this stuff, excuse my cabinet, the rest of this stuff is like low sodium soy sauce, um, seasoning, spices, things like that. We're not really dousing our food and stuff, so again, these are our staples. Um, I plan on doing more videos like this on things like my favorite carb sources, uh, desserts, sweet treats, um, spreads like nut butter spreads, things like that. If there's anything you want to see, please leave me a comment and I'll be happy to show you guys. We usually have a lot of treats in the house. Uh, that's just me. I have a sweet tooth. Husband likes to snack. So if you want to see something, if you're curious about what we use on the day-to-day, -day, leave me a comment and I'll be happy to make you guys a video. Bye!